All right, Algebra 2, welcome to your Section 6567 game plan video for the spring 2019. Disregard that due date there, though it will be due probably by the end of the month. Um, you know, when I get back on the 11th there, uh, we've got a lot of material that we've sort of covered, so we will actually finish the Chapter 5 quiz and test, and then Chapter 6 will be completed pretty quickly, all right? All before the end of the quarter, for sure. Def I really think before the end of February. So when I get back, folks, we are going to move quick. Anyway, let's go to uh, page one here. So by the time you're actually watching this, we should be know we should know what we're doing. Um, what we know from before, you're taking the second root of 49, which is 7, and you divide those exponents by 2. Okay? Boom. There you go. Now, square root of 45 is a decimal. No decimals allowed. So we break down that to be 9 and 5, and 9 is 3 and 3. That gets to break out erratic with jail. 3 root 5. 24 is 2 root 6 because it's... You have the twos that break out, and two times three stays on the inside. All right, so we're going to have things that stay on the inside now, unlike the previous game plan. We've taken the second root of 32, so the square root of 32, let's deal with that first, um, is this. You have two pairs of two, so two times two is four. Four goes on the outside. What stays on the inside would be that two, so you have leftovers here. And then two goes in eight, four times exactly. All right, that is it. Number four, you take the second root of 36, which is six, all right? Two goes into seven three times with one left over. Two goes into 11 five times with one left over. So the leftovers are what's on the inside. All right, second root of 20, so square root of 20 is two, gets to go on the outside. Root five, I would leave yourself some space. So when you're writing this, put a two, leave a space, square root of five. 2 goes into 3, 1 time, 1 left over. 2 goes into 5, 2 times, 1 left over. Boom, there we go. Okay, so now I'm not looking for pairs, but I'm looking for triplets. So I'm going to break 24 to be 2 times 2 times 2. There's my triplet. It gets the triple that it gets going on the outside. Now what stays on the inside is 3. And unlike before, what's left over is not a square root, but it's the third root. So make sure you do put the 3 up there, okay? 3 goes into 7 twice with 1 left over. 3 goes into 5 one time with 2 left over. All right. And page 2. All right. So it's just uh, that, that's it for that lesson. That's uh, for the most part. That's what we're doing. So take the square root of 18. It is a 3 gets, that gets break out. 2 stays on the inside. 2 goes into 7 three times with 1 left over. 2 goes into 3 one time with 1 left over. Okay, 44 is 2 root 11. 2 goes into 9 four times, one left over. 2 goes into 4 for the Y cleanly twice, so there's no Y left over. Ys get the breakout. And then lastly, here on 15, take the square root of 36, which is 6. 2 goes into 8 four times exactly. And the only thing that's left over is 2 goes into 5 twice with one left over. Square root of Y is the only thing that's left there. All right, halftime question. I want to explain when we are in class together, um, I added these in two years ago, just kind of a break in a lesson there. It's also good to know um, how to calculate your GPA in college when things are worth different credits. All right, simplify, folks, root five times root eight, because you're taking the same root, the second root of both, you can multiply within. Five times eight is 40, then we break it down. 40 is two, square root of 40 is two root 10. All right, square root of six times square root of 10 is the square root of 60, and you break down the square root of 60. 2 root 15. Square root of 3 times square root of 12 is the square root of 36, which is 6 exactly. All right, and then, so this is a kind of a two-day section here. Um, going to do the square root of 32 times the square root of 2, which is 64. Uh, x to the 5th times x to the 7th, x to the 12th, x, or y to the 3rd times y to the 5th is y to the 8th. Taking the second root of 64, which is 8, 2 divided, 2 goes into 12 6 times, 2 goes into 8 4 times, nothing is uh, left over, so everything breaks out. 21, we can multiply on the outside, 3 times 4 is 12, x to the 4th, y to the 8th, so I'm taking this, there's imaginary 2 on the outside, 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 8 4 times, everything breaks out. We don't have things, uh, some things don't break out on 23. You do 7 times 12, multiply the x's, multiply the y's, start working with this. You're taking the second root of 84. 84 is 2 times 2, breaks out. 
7 times 3, which is 21, has to stay on the inside of the square root. 2 goes into 9, 4 times, 1 left over. 2 goes into 13, 6 times, 1 left over. All right, honestly, the bottom of this page probably is as difficult as they'll be for us. 3 times 2 is 6. On the inside now, you're going to have 3 times 12, 36, and then x to the 9th. Now, here's what I kind of put this other 6 on the outside. Because the square root of 36 is 6. So you're going to have 6 times that 6 that's already on the outside. So your final answer is going to have a 36. And then you're taking the square root of x to the 9th. So 2 goes into 9 4 times with 1 left over. The only thing that stays inside the square root is that square root of x. I'm sure we'll talk about that one in class as we build 25 and 26. Here is 27. Everything breaks out nicely. 8 times 18 is 144. The square root of that is 12. Multiply the x's, the y's, and uh, again, there's an imaginary 2, which goes into 10 5 times. 2 goes into 14 7 times. All right. All right, just um, some more warm-up. Simplify, that's 4 root 5. Now we're adding and subtracting radicals. You can only do that if... You can only combine like terms if you're taking the square root of the same number. Square root of 3 is combined, square root of 2 is combined, so forth. All right, so that one should be pretty easy there. Now on 5, we have to break down. So those are good. Right, that's right away 19 root 2. We've got to break down the square root of 8, which is going to be 2 root 2. That's going to give you 17 root 2, okay? So 6 is like that. Uh, 7 is ready to go. Let's take a look at number 8. you got to break both of them down. So 3 root 7. Again, there is that calculator I showed you at the beginning of the year. You can I've seen it for 10 bucks at Target, less than 20 at Target and Walmart, different uh, occasions. They break down roots for you. So it's very good, especially if you're going to take pre-calculus and calculus. That saves you a little bit of time. So there are some calculators. You type in square root of 63, boom, 3 root 7 and they don't require batteries. Square root of 20 is two. That gets a breakout, five stays on the outside. So that two gets multiplied with four to give you eight root five. Do the square root of 45, threes break out. Three times three is nine. What stays on the inside is that five. Square root of 75 gives you a five that breaks out. Five times two is 10. What stays on the inside, five. Everything's root 5, so do 8 minus 9 plus 10. That is 9 root 5. All right, I'm sure we'll do 11 class. And we are rolling. All right. First outer, inner, last. Multiplying with roots. 4 times 2 is 8, and then attach the root 3. 4 times root 7, folks, that's just 4 root 7. Root 2 times 2 root 3. The two's, that 2 is going to stay on the outside. I can do root 2 times root 3 because this is... This is square root of two different numbers. This is the same root, so root 6. And then root 2 times root four, or root 7 is root 14. You don't have the same square root. Square root of 3, square root of 6, square root of 7, square root of 14, all different roots. That's it. Folks, on 14 and 15, you need to notice that root 5, root 5, root 3, root 3, same two terms, two numbers there, different operation, opposite operations. So you just need to do the first. Root 5 times root 5 is the square root of 25, which is 5. When you multiply um, two roots together, the square root goes bye-bye, and that number or variable just drops out. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. That has a lovely answer. So notice, when I multiplied with conjugates, I have no more roots involved. That is very important for 16. We're not going to leave this year an answer with a square root in the denominator. So this is how we clean it up. That could happen a lot to you in, in pre-calculus and calculus. I want to get rid of that root. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 5 minus 2, the conjugate. So up top, that's going to be 6 root 5 minus 6 times 2, 12. At the bottom, I do root 5 times root 5, which is just 5. And a positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1, so there's no more denominator. Okay? Let's talk about 18. So it's all about getting rid of the root in the denominator. So I multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. 5, 5, root 3, root 3. That was a negative. Now it's a plus. Make sure to multiply top and bottom by 5 plus root 3. So at top, you're gonna at the top, you're gonna have 5 times root 7, 5 root 7, plus root 7 times root 3 is root 21. 
5 times 5 is 25. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. 25 minus 3 is 22 in the denominator. There you go. All right. Look at that. So these are just some more questions. That's what the square root of 32 is. It's 4 root 2. The square root of 8 is 2 root 2. Numbers I circle are numbers that go on the outside. They break out of radical jail. Root 50 is 5 root 2. They combine to give you just root 2. 1 root 2. First outer inner last. 4 root 3 times 3 root 2. 4 times 3, 12. Root 3 times root 2 is 6 in the square root. 4 root 3 times 5 is 20 root 3. 8 times 3 root 2 is that. 8 times uh, negative 5 is negative 40. All right. The conjugate would be root 5 plus 1. Multiply top and bottom by that. So that's just literally going to be 8 root 5 plus 8 times 1 is 8. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. Negative times positive is a negative. 1 times 1 is 1. That's a 4. Now you can divide everything by 4 because if it's on the outside of a square root, you can divide. Um, you can divide that. So everything is divisible by 4. That root 5 stays root 5. All right, so the 6, 5 is a little bit of a long section there. We'll take, we'll take some time with that. When you multiply with the same base, you just add the exponents. All right, so when you divide with the same base, you just subtract the exponents. So it's a pretty easy section. Write each expression in radical form. Okay, so I'm taking the fifth root. So I write the square root with the 5 of 10 to the second power. Well, 10 to the second is 100. So I'm really taking the fifth root of 100. That's how you write it. I'm taking the fifth root of x to the third. I am taking the third root of 3 to the second, which is 9. I'm taking the third root of 9. And lastly, I am taking the third root. The denominator of that rational exponent is the root you're taking of x to the numerator. Here I'm going backwards, so it's x to the 3 over 7, which is literally the same question as 10. I, that's funny. x to the 1 over 2. Again, if there's no exponent, it's 1. And if there's no number on the outside of the root, it's 2. So that's a good one. This is x to the 1 over 4. This is x to the 4 over 5. All right, page eight, same base, add the exponents. Same base, add the exponents. And simplify, six over four is three over two. Same base, when you're dividing, subtract the exponents. Six over 12 is one half. Same base, which is x, subtract the exponents. Make one half into four over eight, there you go. These are fun, inception style, like square root within a square root. Take the square root of 625 first, that's 25, and then take the square root of 25, five. Take the square root first, and I'll show you what you're, you're actually taking the sixth root of 729 overall. Take the square root of 729, that's 27. The third root of that, it would be 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 729. All right, let's get these to be the, the same um, denominator for the exponents. 6 over 10, 5 over 10, and subtract the exponents. If that was a negative, you know, you could write it as 1 over x to the 1 over 10. I'll allow negative exponents here, that's fine. But it isn't, it's a non-negative exponent. Just add the exponents there. That one's pretty easy. All right, and we are rolling. The end of, this is just some game time questions. Page number nine. Add the exponents. I would get the same denominator there. Subtract the exponents. Inception style, square root of 64 is eight. The third root, the cubed root of eight is two. Subtract the exponents. Boom. 7, that would be x to the 5 sevenths. x to the 2 fifths. All right, it's page 9. And the last section of this chapter is quite possibly the easiest one. So if I have some number squared equals 49, that number could be a positive or a negative 7. Now, that is different than this. So because I'm squaring some number to get 49, I could have started with a negative or positive number. Now, if I tell you I'm taking the square root of some number and I get 6, that is only one number that it could be. It could only be 36. Okay, so you're only going to have one answer here because I'm not 
taking the square root and finding my mystery number. I am squaring both sides to find my mystery number. Um, so if I have x inside the square root to get rid of the square root, I need to square both sides. Then that when you square a square root, that cancels, so that would drop out. x minus 3 equals 25. x has to be 28. Only one answer. We'll talk more about that in class. You're going to add 3 to both sides, and when you have some square root equals a number, you're going to square both sides. That will drop on out. x plus 2 equals 16. x is 14. Square both sides right away. You get 4x minus 1 is not 14, not 7, but 49. Add 1 to both sides. Divide by 4. You can get decimals. Square both sides. Subtract 5. Divide by 2. All right. So we should like that. Next page here, just got some more interesting roots. We're going to take the, uh, we're going to cube both sides. How do you get rid of the third root? You cube both sides. All right, and then it's kind of self-explanatory after that. Add three, divide by two. Guys, the one-half power is the square root, so just do uh, the exponent you raise everything to would be the reciprocal, which is two. Okay? So that's just the square root. That's also just the square root. Square both sides. Add 3, divide by 2. We're going to add 3 first, and uh-oh, I made a boo-boo. Let's correct this boo-boo right here. That's not the second. That's not to the one-half. That's to the one-third. So I'm not going to square both sides, but I'm going to cube both sides. All right, so I'm going to get 4 to the third. 4 to the third is 64. Not 16. I'm going to subtract 2 to get 62, not 14. And finally, my answer would be 62 over 3. All right? We caught that. Folks, I want, I probably want to divide both sides by 3 first, so I can just get a square root equals a number. Square both sides. Add 1, divide by 2. All right, so really 18 to 20 are just like that. All right, folks, page 12 here on your own a little bit. You're going to add 3 and then square both sides. Add 1. I would divide on number 4. I would divide by 2 first, square both sides, subtract 7. Just cube both sides right away and add 7. Subtract 5, get a square root equals a number, square both sides, 4. I would divide both sides by 4, square both sides, there you go. And the last page, review homework here, page 13. All right, there, there could be, you know, some bonus candy, little questions later. Um, but right now, I just want to get all these videos ready for this chapter. All right, taking the second root. So two goes on the outside, five stays on the inside, two goes into seven three times, one left over, two goes into eight four times exactly. Just multiply within, then you're left with the square root of 36, x to the 10th, y to the 12th. Again, add exponents. Square root of 36 is 6. 2 goes into 10, 5 times exactly. 2 goes into 12, 6 times exactly. Square root of 20 is that. Square root of 125 is that. Add them up. So on 7, multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. 9 plus root 2. 3 times 9 up top plus 3 times root 2. There you go. You're going to get 81 minus root 2 times root 2 is just 2. That's 79 in the denominator. First outer inner last, 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times root 2 is root 6 root 2. 7 times root 3 is 7 root 3. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. Done. Add, uh, add the exponents with the same base there. Subtract the exponents. Maybe get one half to be two over four, then that subtraction is pretty easy. And then lastly, number 13 on page 13, subtract four from both sides, square both sides, you get 52. All right, folks, a nice long video for your last game plan of chapter six. This is Yak Math Videos signing out.